How's it going, everyone? Um, out for a ride on my one-wheel GT. Figured I'd do an initial impression video on this board. Um, it's not going to be anything special, nothing flashy here. I'm just recording this on my iPhone, and uh, I'm just your average nobody trying to help you, somebody decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned money on this board. It's pretty expensive. All right, I came from a... Uh, one wheel pint X uh, to the GT and I'm very happy that I did. Um, the reason why I started off with a pint X is it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Um, so I didn't want to spend all that money and not like the board, not like the thing and be a waste of money and just end up listening on eBay a little while longer. And I got the thing, I got over 400 miles on it, and I love it. I definitely did not go wrong buying that board. And I can tell you, you won't go wrong with that board either. Now, that being said, I was on vacation recently at Ocean City, Maryland. I stopped in a shop called Light Riders Ocean City, and the people there are amazing. Super nice. Uh, Husband and wife own the shop, they run the shop. Super great people, very helpful, very knowledgeable. Uh, if you're in that area, make sure you check them out. Very great people. But they had the one wheel GT in stock, which a lot of places don't. They're starting to get them. But, uh, and they had the treaded tire in stock, which is unusual. They had three of them. So if you're in the area and you're in the market, definitely check them out. They also have other products there. They have Segway scooters, they have these they look like harley chopper electric bikes they have a lot of neat stuff there so definitely check them out so while i was there they had the gt in, in stock and once i saw it I, I had to get it uh i've been considering it for a while uh, want something with a little more power something with the treaded tire and uh, i haven't been brave enough yet to take the pine apart and put a treaded tire on it, it still has the stock slick so anyhow i picked this up um figured since i'm out and about i'll try the review game here and give you guys my initial impressions from a real world standard i'm not somebody who's out crushing trails although i am riding tr some trails um, but i'm not doing anything crazy on it i just like to float i like to relax and ride this thing and just enjoy life on it uh crazy tricks not doing any of that no crazy drops bonks any of that stuff you know just your normal city rider and trail rider uh you know not trying to kill myself here so uh let me give you my initial review if uh, you guys end up liking this thing and and want to see some more reviews here i could do a review on the point x and my build i have on that and uh got a couple other things that i can go over too so let's uh turn this camera around and look at the board itself all right guys so after doing the initial video here i decided to come home and do a direct comparison with the two boards here the pine x and the uh gt um i figured that would give you a better look at each you can kind of see size wise how much different they are all right so so straight out the gate here we'll go back to the gt because that's more what this is about all right power it off here all right so gt's fully stock um the only thing that i put on it so far is of course the orange rail guards especially if you're new rail guards are a lifesaver they're going to keep your board from getting totally destroyed if you look at my uh pine next here you'll see it's pretty the rail guards are pretty well beat up on there all right so you need that and then i ended up buying the uh float life float plates uh super easy to uh install they come with those stainless steel bolts there's an adhesive on the under underside that helps stick it to the bottom and that's just going to save your tail um let's see can we compare it to here yeah you can see my tail is pretty beat up on the bottom side of the uh pine x um and i don't have any float plates on there so figured i'd go with it this time on the uh, gt um 
and it has the uh, treaded tire that comes straight from one wheel. Um, so uh, power, you're gonna have a heck of a lot more power with this thing. You're gonna have a slight amount more ground clearance, uh, initial impressions on the ride. I, I, because of the power and a little bit more ground clearance, I had an easier time getting over some bumps. Um, let's see difference here so one of the differences a nice difference is the GT also comes with this handle right here under the front side uh, which does not come on the stock Pine or Pine X now uh, I think I may have mentioned earlier I did crash this thing at 17 and a half miles an hour which sucked so right after that I bought these fang fenders on here and the fang fenders do have a little grip on here which helps you pick it up uh, you know, you can see I beat up the, the things a little bit, dragging the nose. Uh, but those are definitely worth it, especially if you're a newer rider. Um, I don't believe they make them for the GT yet. I don't know if I'll go with them for the GT. I may uh, get the front float plates once they're available. They were not available when I bought the back one. Um, so you got that. Um, as you can see, the... GT is a little bit dirty here. I just actually took it a little for a short trip off road and the treaded tire is great. Um, I'm sure it's not as good as the new float life enduro that just came out. I'm sure that thing's amazing. That's all over the internet right now. Um, you know, that's, I'm sure an amazing tire, but here's my thing is I just spent all this money on this board. I'm not going to go out and buy a new tire. Um, this tire right now is super hard and super bouncy but like the slick tire on the pint x it needs some time to break in once it breaks in and you find the right uh psi it should be just fine especially for most of you avid riders the problem with the one life or one life that's what it should be one wheel life is once you get into it you want to start customizing and making it all your own you know uh, doing more and more and more to it um, You know and the tire definitely looks cooler on the uh, float life tire, but you know, this is an initial review This is what you get out of the box um, So, you know, we'll go off of that for now and and again I plan on trying to get a thousand miles at least out of this tire that came with it um, Otherwise again, what's the point? So, uh, something else here, the mag handle on the GT has this rubber inside, which is really nice compared to the Pine X. You'll see it's just hard plastic and it's ribbed. The GT is a heck of a lot heavier than the Pine X. So if you had that ribbed inside of the handle, it probably would dig into your hand. Uh, oh yeah, something else you need to buy, which is ridiculous and future motion really needs to change this is you do have to buy a charge port plug i would not suggest going without one it's on both boards you have to buy it it's ridiculous for how much you spend on this board that you got to actually buy a little rubber uh cover you can get them on etsy too they're about the same price though is the only thing so take that as it is decide what you're going to do there but you know when you're spending uh, what is this the x was over a thousand dollars this is just over two thousand you're you're should get a freaking plug with it right so um let's see the foot pads it's probably hard to see here they're concaved um on the front and the back on the gt um and that's awesome it, it the grip tape that came on the pint x was not that great and the, the uh, decks were completely flat. With this, um, it feels like it locks your foot right in place. You're hitting bumps and everything else and it holds you right there. Now, I do not have the stock grip tape on the uh, Pine X. I did get the Kushnug High here, which is concaved in the back. It's got a little bit of, little bit of cushion to it. Um, and it came with new grip tape for the front. And the grip tape, is way better and that's actually very similar to what's on the GT right now so they definitely improved upon the grip tape on the GT um, so uh, power speed 
you're looking at, I believe with the Pint X, 18 miles an hour is their listed top speed. I nosedived on that, going against a very strong headwind at 17 and a half miles an hour. I did not feel the pushback until right when it was time to go down and I tried to stop and I couldn't and it launched me. Um, that was when I was brand new to riding. It was feeling confident and cocky and I shouldn't have been. You know, you learn to respect these boards, you'll you'll be all right. I'm very lucky and very happy that it did not hurt myself because I probably should have. I uh, was able to roll out of it and I did fine. Um, you know, I was banged up for a little bit, a little bit bruised, but definitely respect the boards and uh, you kind of have to be willing to hurt yourself and crash a little bit to, to learn these. You know, I'm, a, I'm an older guy not a young kid anymore so bumps and bruises takes a little bit longer to heal from and just keep that in mind if you if you get too confident too quick there's a good chance you're going to go down and go down hard um and i was fortunate enough not to get injured too bad here um so keep that in mind uh what else we got here it is so much nicer with the gt to travel everywhere at a higher rate of speed to maintain that high rate of speed and just cruise. This has something that's great for new riders called the safety beep. The safety beep will let you know when you're hitting that, uh, the pushback. And the Pint X and the Pint do not have that. You only, oh, let's focus, there we go. You only have the pushback as your warning. This you get both. Now you can turn off the safety beep. I'm gonna leave it on there at least for now, because I'm no crazy rider. I'm not looking to go like 30 miles an hour, which they're reporting you can get on this if you push through pushback. Awesome, I'm sure that's super fun, but I'm not looking to go down at 30 miles an hour when it hurt like hell going down at 17 and a half on that. All right, so for now, I'm leaving the safety beep on here. New riders too, both boards have something called simple stop. Basically, you slow down to a stop, um, and it just drops the back end of the board nice and soft for you. All right, that's great for you new riders. Uh, more experienced riders, it is nice to turn off where if all of a sudden you want to stop and go in the opposite direction, you can. Um, super nice option. Um, let's see, what else here? Basically, comparing the two, if you're a new rider and you're not sure that you are going to absolutely fall in love with doing the float life riding these one wheels and floating all over the place i'd go with the the pine x reason why i'm saying that is you still get a lot of range i'm doing a little bit of hills and i, I did uh, a ride where i was able to get about 22 miles out of this thing i think it was to dead um easy riding just floating it was a lot of fun got a lot of miles out of it now that was maintaining a slower speed than what I'll be riding this at because I do not want to go flying again. Um, now you're not going to be able to hop up on as much. There's not as much power behind this thing, but it is a great board to start on. And because it's substantially cheaper, you'll be able to get into the life or not. Now, if you don't, you'll probably be able to sell this thing pretty easy on ebay and if you do and you want to move up to this you'll probably be able to sell that thing pretty easy on ebay too um you know i'm hoping to get my kids into riding the pint with me and you know having somebody else here to ride with these type of activities where i live uh you know they're starting to take off but there's not a lot of people out there riding these things yet where I, i'm from um so now, if you're pretty set and think you're going to love this thing, go straight to the GT. The, the wider foot pads lock your feet in a little bit better. And I don't have huge feet, and my feet hang off a little bit on, on this board. Uh, here, they lock me right in. That's a little bit better. I feel like you're a little more stable because the wheel seems uh, a little bit wider. Um, this is definitely a little bit more nimble, a little more carvy, a little more like riding a snowboard. This still is, but that's more. All right. Um, 
and besides that there isn't a ton of difference yeah i got the fender on there the fender is great uh i'm getting the, the quarter fenders or whatever you want to call it from craft and ride um they're just on pre-order so you can buy them now I, and and i did see that they were cheaper if you buy them now on pre-order so i'm waiting for that i did get just the quarter fenders because i like seeing the tire um i think that looks a lot nicer than the full fenders and actually i think the craft and ride mag fenders look better than that too um, but that's a personal preference type thing so you guys go with whatever you you like um, i'm sure it'll be awesome i may end up getting a cushion back i don't know uh i'll have to wait and go for a very long ride i will tell you the cushion nug high on the pine x when going on long rides is way better than the stock foot pad was gives you a little bit of cushion gives you that concave now these come stock with the concave however there's no cushion here so i'm gonna have to go for a longer ride before i can give any sort of opinion on that to see whether or not i personally think you need the, the extra cushion on the back end here um so besides that i don't think there's much more i can say you know the they're they're both awesome boards the gt is hands down the better board more power more stable you know better in every aspect but you're paying for it all right so that's what you have to decide for yourself is it worth me to dive right in and go for the big one because you know what you'll sell this too if you dive in and you don't end up using it it won't be too hard for you to sell this uh, you might not be able to sell it exactly for what you paid for, but you're going to get pretty darn close to it. Because right now, these especially are, aren't the easiest to get. Or it's a real long wait. Pine X's, a lot easier to get, but still people will buy them. All right? Especially if it's a couple, couple hundred bucks off from a, a new one. Because most people buy this stuff and then they go out and they buy a fender. They buy the, the rail guards themselves because they want to make it their own. So someone will buy this off you and they'll make it their own as long as it runs uh good and solid like a brand new one um so i'll turn this around and then we'll wrap it up here all right so ultimately i hope this helps you guys make the decision on whether or not you want to buy this gt me love it don't regret it at all all right do have to wait for this tire to break in i'm not going to go out and buy the newest tire right now uh i want to get my money's worth out of this thing and I think I can out of this tire. I'll get used to it. And hey, do you really miss what you never had? So get used to this, burn this tire out, and then I'll move on to the new one once I get some miles on here and uh, feel a little braver about taking this thing apart. Um, once you get used to the, the both of these boards and, and riding, it is so much fun and you will never go wrong with it. It's awesome. Um, you know it does take some time so be careful be smart about it try not to break your collarbone i see a lot of that all over the internet but this is an honest review this is someone who paid for this stuff himself and you know i'm just trying to help you decide whether or not it's worth it it's a lot of fun um it is dangerous if you don't ride it right and you don't take your time you have to respect these boards and if you don't that's when you're going to get hurt um but it is a lot of fun. So if there's any questions you have, please comment. Um, again, this isn't going to be a super refreshed video, um, but you know what to do. If you do like it and it was helpful, I'd appreciate any support. And uh, I got some video game videos on here. If you're super bored and you got nothing better to do, you can watch some video game play. And... Uh, you know, if you like this review, let me know. Maybe I'll do some more. Um, I'm not doing any ride videos. If you guys want that, I can give it. But again, I'm just your average person. Uh, simple nobody riding these things around town. So if I give you some ride video, it's not going to be anything crazy. But if you want it, I'll supply it. Um, and that's about it, really. Um, again, hope you have a great day and uh, take care.